Hello everybody. Today I'm making some back ribs. This is my first video, so we'll see how it turns out. First thing you gotta do is make sure you get the skin off. Just take a fork, run it under the skin there. You'll see it comes off rather easily. Well, maybe not so easily. If you don't take the skin off, it's going to be tough as hell. Well, maybe not tough as hell, but you'll definitely know it's there. Slice it into manageable, smokable portions into a pot. Next, we're going to take two beers. Doesn't matter, whatever you like, it makes no difference. I mean, it's just cheap beer, expensive beer, don't matter. I know it sounds like a waste of beer, but this is going to be good. Just a little bit of celery seed. A couple of whole black peppercorns. Some pickling spice. Daily for two, a couple of crushed chilies, and some fennel seeds. And just fill it up, well don't fill it up, fill it about halfway full of water. With a healthy pinch of salt. Stick it on the stove, put it on medium-high heat, let it simmer covered for about 45 minutes, and then we'll be back soon and we'll smoke them. Alright folks, we're back. 
We've cooked the ribs partially. They've been cooking for a little over 45 minutes, almost an hour, in the the brine or the the mixture I said, talked about earlier. We've got some soaked cherry chips. Uh, you can use whatever kind of wood you want, hickory, apple, it don't matter. Um, depends, whatever whatever flavor you like. Uh, each different wood gives a different sort of flavor, different nuance. Like I said, experiment and uh, figure out what you like and go from there. So we've got some soaked chips in the bottom. This is an old wok, by the way, something I don't use for cooking anymore, just smoking. Uh, you want to give yourself a nice big piece of foil, stick it over the top with a little dome in the middle, uh, cut a hole so the smoke gets up and gets into the ribs. Uh, you want this little bowl shape here so it catches all the moisture that comes off the top. Um, otherwise it'll put out the wood chips and you won't have a very good smoke at all. So basically you just want to have it enough so that the lid will go on and catch most of that moisture. And well, it'll go down a little bit later. What you do is you take your rack, stick it right there. And then you put your ribs in. You want to you want to position them so that they get a good amount of smoke around each piece. Doesn't matter if they're hanging off the rack. That's fine. This will all get smoke. And you put the lid on, as you can, well, you probably can't see in this detail. I've drilled a few holes in the top uh, to let a little bit of the smoke come out. Uh, what you do is you take this, put it on the small burner on your electric stove on medium heat and let it go for, oh geez, a couple hours. You might have to change the chips once or twice, but when it comes out, oh my God, you'll love it. It'll be incredible. As you can see, I've got it on the stove top. I'm just smoking in an apartment, so I don't want any huge smoke coming out. You just want to have a very, very, very low, slow smoke. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to let this go, and then uh, uh, we'll see you folks in a couple hours with the end up, end up product. And uh, we're Hey folks, I'm back. Uh, this was going to be just about ribs, but I figured what the hell, do some rice too. Uh, in case you were wondering, these are the smoked chips I used. Cherry wood, got it from Cabela's. I wouldn't recommend going to Cabela's, they're a bunch of ass masters. But that's where I got it from. Uh, okay, basmati rice from India. Nutty flavor, very good texture. Ratio, one cup of basmati rice to just over a cup and a half of water. Nice, big, healthy couple pinches of salt. And about a tablespoon of butter. You might ask why I have this in a strainer, basmati rice. It's very re highly recommended to rinse it under cold running water until the water runs clear. Um, you want to rinse it, get all the dust and stuff from, from the travel and whatnot. This stuff comes from India. It's very good rice, nice nutty flavor, great texture. Uh, so run this under cold running water uh, for about five, six, seven minutes till it runs clear. And then it, let it soak in the cold water for half an hour. Ribs are almost done, so I'll come back and we'll finish up in a little bit. Hey folks, as you can see, the ribs are smoking away happily. You see the little bit of smoke coming off of that. Um, they're about halfway done now. Um, I'm going to do some rice and maybe some buttered beans. Um, so yeah, I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. Hey kids, I'm back. I'm just setting up my veg for dinner for the night. Um, um, in French terms, this would be called a mise en place. 
uh, everything in its place, just getting everything ready so that when it comes time to cook it, I just saute it you know, as, it, as it goes and we're good to go. Uh, a little bit of garlic. Finely minced. Mushrooms quartered. really starting to smell like a smokehouse in here. It's going to smell like a butcher shop in here for probably a week. Uh, it's one of the bonuses to smoking your own meat at home. And just a little bit of onion for flavor. vegetables separate because they cook at different rates. The mushrooms will go in first because they take the longest and the zucchini will probably go in last because it takes the least. Um, yeah, I guess that would be classic French mise en place. Everything in its place. That will be my veggies for this evening's dinner. I'll be back uh, a little bit later, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, the ribs are out of the smoker. I've got the water going for the rice now. Um, I guess we're just going to have to slather these with sauce and get them in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes or so just to caramelize it. And uh, then we've got uh, almost dinner ready to go. Um, I use Cattle Boys barbecue sauce, in my opinion, it is the best. Um, you may not like it, but I do. Um, Me. Got to open a fresh bottle. Slather a little bit all over, get it all nice and coated and juicy.
feel free to add more. More is always better. Make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies. This is already soaked for half an hour. Just throw it in there. And I said earlier the ratio is one cup of rice to just over a cup and a half of water. A little salt, some butter. Just have to bring it up to a boil. Cover it and reduce down to mid mid uh, low heat and let it go for 10 minutes. That's about it. Into the oven for 10-15 minutes, caramelize the sauce, we're good to go. Oh, by the way, the oven's set at 400 degrees. And, uh, I guess... That's it for now. Till I get the veggies going and uh, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, last final couple steps. There'll just be one more addition after this and then we're uh, pretty much done for the day. A uh, nice warm pan, a little extra virgin olive oil, and mushrooms. I guess that pan wasn't quite as hot as it wanted it to be, but oh well, it'll do. Mushrooms in first. Gonna dried oregano. A little bit of celery seed. I love celery seed. It adds so much flavor to everything. A little pinch of salt. Help to get the moisture out of the mushrooms and some fresh cracked pepper. If you're one of those people that uses ground pepper, oh, please do yourself a favor. Buy a pepper mill and get some fresh peppercorns. There's so much better flavor. Mushrooms already starting to give up their moisture. Just gonna throw in the green beans. A 
with the onions and garlic. <clears throat> well, like I said, folks, it was uh, just going to be about ribs, but then I figured, what the hell, I may as well document the entire dinner process. And it's got me to thinking, maybe I should do a whole series of videos uh, outlining what I do best, cooking. Um, hopefully, we'll have some wild game videos as well. Uh, maybe some hunting videos. Oh, the smell coming off of this is just fantastic. Heat up just a little bit. We got about three quarters. As you can see, the rice turned out beautifully, nice and fluffy. Oh my god, the smell is incredible. Basmati rice, best rice in the world. like parsley and dill don't dry very well but they freeze very very well you can keep it up in the freezer a good four or five months and it's great uh, I just buy the fresh or grow it myself throw it in the freezer and I've got herbs all year round a little bit of chopped Italian parsley the flat leaf variety Some dill. Just pinch it up and it adds so much flavor. Unbelievable. Just use the leaves, don't use the stems. They're kind of woody. walking in front of the camera, got to get these back in the seat. Oh my god, the smell coming off of this, unbelievable. I wish we had smell vision You guys would love it. Always make sure to keep your areas very tight and clean. That's the biggest, the biggest rule of the kitchen. Keep the area clean. Free of clutter, less accidents. And then we'll finish this. Just a little bit of butter. Butter always makes things better. That's about it. Let me just serve it up and then uh, I'll show you what the end results are. Alright guys, we've got ribs, we've got rice, and we've got veggies. Serve up a slab or two. There you have it. Dinner fit for a king. Or maybe maybe a prince. Duke. Something like that. Alright. I'll put that back there. Alright kids, I hope you enjoy. I'm Troy. Um, I enjoy cooking. 
probably going to make a whole series of videos. If you like, subscribe, and uh, maybe I might cook something you like. Maybe you might learn something. Thanks. Bye.